Now that you have learned a few of the basics of the point-to-point -point feature, I am going to show you an advanced way to use this cool feature. Let's say you wanted to create a box that ran diagonally across the quilt. Point-to-point -point can be used to create some cool designs that you normally wouldn't be able to. First, let us select a corner pattern. I'll pick Carousel Corner. When selecting a pattern, you want to make sure to choose one that has the same height as width. If it does not, the point-to-point -point feature could be thrown off. When you find a good corner pattern, load it onto the quilt area. Then you'll want to scale the pattern to the desired size. Make sure that you have the proportions locked so that we don't throw off the point-to-point -point feature. Now select the point-to-point -point icon. Move the machine to the lower left area of the quilt where you want to start the pattern. The display will ask you to set your next point, which will be the first point of the pattern. Select the green plus sign and move the machine diagonally to the right. When you move the machine the desired length for the first pattern, select the green plus sign again. The first pattern will load and you can move the machine again to the next diagonal right point. Select the green plus sign to load the next pattern. You can keep going by adding points until you reach the top of the quilt area. Once you reach the top, begin to move the machine back diagonally left to the last pattern's start point. Select the green plus sign to create an inversion of the pattern that closes the first box. Move to each of the start points to close each of the boxes. It is important to note that the order that you set patterns is the order in which the machine will stitch it out. So this pattern will start from the lower left and work its way back around. Now that you have finished the diagonal path, you can use the repeat function to duplicate it across the quilt area. You first have to select merge here to make the design one pattern. Then go into repeat and repeat horizontal as needed. As you can see, I can only repeat twice. Now to make sure that I am filling the entire quilt area, I am going to use the smart scale feature. You may notice the space that is left over at the top of my quilt area. That is because I left the locked proportions engaged. If you want to fill the entire space, make sure that the lock feature is unchecked. I hope you can see how the point-to-point -point feature can be used to make some pretty cool patterns.